my boys, it's Cancept time. And what a concept to have a Cancept. And you know what? This is a Jonathan Stiles design. You know that guy up in Labrador? He was doing some fixed blades for, oh yeah, that was for Kaiser, wasn't he? He was doing some fixed blades with them, some other stuff. But he's doing the Weem, or W-E-I-M, however you're supposed to pronounce that. 3.2 8-inch blade with Cancept. With Cancept s 35 in and with titanium blue carbon fiber. That's the only way to roll. Blue carbon fiber. Yeah, Jonathan Styles S35 Yen. Oh yeah, we good. Okay. It's a frame lock. It's got carbon fiber on both sides. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. And what are we going to do? I'm kind of just waiting for this thing to come and try and get me. There you go. Come get some. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So interesting. Uh, let's take, let's deconstruct this a little. Okay, now kick this around. Yeah, okay, we got enough blade in there. Um, considering we're wrapping this backspacer around and around, so I reckon, and design flow goes good. We got ambidextrous thumb studs. Kick it right open now. Um, no, no flipper, no flipper. Okay, so there it is. And, ah, uh, no problem, right? No problem making contact. Sheep's foot, reverse tanto. What was it? Somebody railing about reverse tanto. It's like, this thing never existed, you know, but for so many years ago, and then it came into existence, something like that. Or was it when, uh, the 940 came around with Benchmade or something. Okay, sheep's foot. We're going to call it sheep's foot, right? Without any paperwork sitting here telling me different. But these are inexpensive, right? These things have been... It's not like you're getting... You know, you are getting S35EN, super... I mean, it's a super steel. I'm still calling it one, right? It's a high vanadium, blah, blah, blah. Crucible, powder, metallurgy, etc. Titanium, blue carbon fiber, all that. Ceramic bearings, all that shit. Is it uh, is it expensive? No. Is it three fifty, four fifty, five hundred that they're running these days? Even up to six hundred? Hell no. Okay. So I'll give you the links below. You can go to Cancept. Almost got me, didn't you? Cancept and you know White Mountain Knives LTK is your discount code for ten percent off, so you can do that. But I'll bet you, bet you, bet you, this is well under $200. That's the way they've been running them, right? Um, lanyard, go through here. Pocket clip, nice and stylized here. That's okay. It's landing right on that partition going between the two, the carbon fiber and the titanium. There's a screw holding it in place. I don't know. Are we doing number sixes on this thing? What are we doing, boys? Let me take a check. Nah, body screws are number sixes. Hmm, a little disappointing there. Okay, I would think that they would be going... Gonna have to have a little talk with Jonathan over there. Yeah, but it's nice. And you know what? The design is nice, too. Got a little bit of a ramp here. Kind of a... Kind of an early ramp thing to kind of a harpoonish you know, look a bit here. And so that's got, got some style to it. Jonathan style. It's got some style to it. But no, overall, I like the overall appearance of this knife. And, you know, it seems really practical. I mean, it feels good in the hand. Um, although, this pocket clip here, this pocket clip is kind of migrating from south to north a bit and it's right hand tip up only but i mean up in here and something about right in here okay i can feel this okay when i'm holding this knife you know where it's hitting me it's hitting me right there and it's i can feel it and this would be annoying pretty quickly pretty quickly to tell you the truth, this is one of the few pocket clips that have ever 
kind of just jumped up and made themselves known to me. So, yeah, that may be something you may not, I don't know. It just depends on kind of where it hits you. If it hits you between fingers like that, then it kind of disappears between there, but it's not. It's hitting me right, right in the fat, fat pad zone there. And so, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it's okay and it's variable for, you know, short, you know, hops and this and that, cutting stuff. But this, I don't think this would be comfortable for long cutting tasks that take quite a while, okay? So, but other than that, looking good. And, you know, they're getting away, whoop, they're getting away from having to, you know, be everybody's little front flipper, side flipper, top flipper, you know, fidget, fidget, fidget. Now, on the, on the bad side of that is that there's a lot of fidget, fidget, fidget people, and that's what they want. And so, are they going to buy this? Nah, that's a good question. So, I don't know. Um, let's weigh it up and get a measure on it. But, yeah, um... The design itself is nice, okay? There's that for sure. And 105 grams, so it's not very heavy. But then again, um, 3.7 ounces, okay. What's the overall here, though? This is not exactly even a quite like three and a half. No, it's three and a quarter seven and a half so yeah it's a bit shy of like an eight inch overall length knife right and so with the three and a half inch you got what 85 millimeters and 19 uh, centimeters okay and then i don't think this is very thick no 0.47 of an inch so yeah 11.9 that's fine that's thin in the pocket and 2.8 millimeter blade stock 0.11 okay we're good so there it's fairly light it's kind of a medium you know it's not too big not too small um easy carry edc type thing and this is easy to disengage the lock bar okay and uh there's the lock up okay 25 percent and yeah, there's enough of a differentiation in height there to where it'll drop. So that's easy to disengage. Okay, and then you can thumb stud it or reverse flick it however you want to do on that. And it's centered, no lock, rock, or blade play. It's solid as far as that con is concerned. And the ergos are fine, it's just that that pocket clip's speaking to me a bit. So, yeah, that's, that's something to stay aware of. Although, as far as being able to make full contact, because you don't have a big old flipper tab laying down there, that's good. That's good for that, as far as that's concerned. So we're good. What do you think? Get it in uh, different kinds of combinations, but... Uh, this one works for me. I like the blue carbon fiber. I like just the regular silver, gray, titanium, whatever. And a stone wash blade. It works good as far as I'm concerned. And I like the fact that uh, I can reverse flick it or I can thumb flick it. That's fine. That'll work for me. I'm good with that. All right. So, and I like the fact it's got a backspacer. It kind of gives it a finished look. All that. Okay. So... Ceramic bearings, moderately priced, and you know what? Just one more thing we need to consider, which is throwing it right here on the mat. And, oh, yeah, we're going to have some number sixes on there, aren't we, too? Because, yeah, we got some, and we're going to... Let me see if I can just grab. Yeah, I grabbed the front enough to stabilize it so I could unscrew. And you know what? I think. Hold on. Okay. This is the screw coming out the front. So, you know what? I needed to attack it from the front, didn't I? Okay. Well, now I will then.
and I'll take these body screws out. Okay, like that. Okay, now we have these body screws taken out and we can just drop them out of there. Okay, they're the same size. And then we got the carbon fiber on here, which we can remove if we just want to take that screw off. We could do that. Oh, oh, and then you got kind of a steel washer here that you can pull out if it'll ever come out. Uh, it's not coming out easy, is it? Okay, well, I'll leave it in there. But there's your little washer, etc. Okay, there's your, you know, presentation side and then here's your yeah bearings there's your blade and that looks fine looks clean looks good and there's your washer on the other side hardened steel insert ceramic detent ball and then of course your titanium backspacer etc etc wow that was easy so there's your disassembly. Okay, we got the can set back here. The can set Weem, I guess, W-E-I-M. Jonathan Styles design. Here's another contender out there in the marketplace. Recent release here. And uh, kind of got that little bit of a harpoonish look in a way. And then sheep's foot. And it's a flicker, so if you're not into fl front flippers, this might be a good choice for you. And especially if you like getting that full contact patch on there. And a reasonable price. Uh, this, you know, and it's all about, like, do I like the design? Is this something that I find attractive? It's definitely light enough and easy carry as well. So, take care, my friends. We do love them knives. Check out my website for pre-owned knives and check for the links below to Cancept, White Mountain Knives as well. LTK is your discount code on White Mountain and stay sharp.